Iubisor, mă bucur de prezența Domnului, de cuvântul minunat al lui Dumnezeu, de lucrarea Domnului, care fratele a mărtrisit-o pe câmpul Evangheliei. L-am rugat pe fratele să iei tot timpul, văd că nu l-a luat tot timpul, și avem un timp scurt după care vom face o rugăciune. Aș dori ca să mă adresez comunității, bisericii și un pic în limba engleză. Din pasajul acesta a lăsat o părticică mică, fratele, pentru mine o părticică specială. Părticica aceasta este la sfârșitul versetului 4 și versetul 5. O voi citi în limba engleză. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. The four friends, the loving, united, compassionate, caring for friends, had limited sight, had limited knowledge of the man's needs. They saw he was paralytic. They saw he had a physical handicap. But they had faith that what they didn't know and what they didn't understand, someone else did. I know you're here tonight and you think you have the need of more money, of a different car, of something different. But when God looks at you and when God looks at me, he sees and knows my true need. He knows what you did last night. He knows how you talked to your wife. He knows what's on your phone. He knows your history, even though the app has erased it. He knows. He knows you're addicted. He knows you're putting on a smile and a face. He knows you've been let down. He knows you're bummed out. He knows you're depressed. He knows that you've put on the plastic smile. He knows the hurts from the past and the hurts in the present. He knows what your husband doesn't know. He knows what your wife doesn't know. He knows what your parents don't know. And he knows what even you in your own mind don't want to think about. God knows. And when God knows, God always intervenes and he looks at us. And like he looked at the paralytic He's looking at each and every one of us tonight and the gospel voice has rang loud and clear that the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. He knows that others consider you deplorable, that others consider you beyond hope, that others consider you lost, but he also knows that he can transform, he can save, he can cleanse, he can take a drunk and a drug addict and a pornographer and someone who's cheated on his wife and he can transform him into a man of God and a woman of God that loves God and has a transformed life that's radically different. And he doesn't need counseling and he doesn't need therapy. He just has the blood of Jesus Christ that died on the cross. For there is power, power, power in the blood of Jesus. God knows. And God can say a word when he looks in your heart and he looks in my heart. And he says, do you want to be free? 
us Romanians, I know it in Romanian. I don't know if it's translated from English or not. But the Romanian song says, Vrei tu să scapi de păcat, sarcină? Tonight, do you want to be freed from sin? Do you want to tell no to the devil? Do you want to tell the devil, no, get behind me, Satan? Do you want to take the blindness that the devil has tried to put on your eyes, that has kept you from seeing the love of God, that has kept you from coming to church, that has kept you from reading your Bible, that has kept you from praying, that has kept you from loving, that has kept you from loving your wife and your husband and your children and your parents? Do you want the power of God to come into your life? Well, then you've got to say, yes, Lord, vreau să I want to be freed. I want to be liberated. I want to say no to this sin. And you've got to come to Jesus Christ and say, Lord, I am a sinner. Lord, I have been leading a double life. I have been leading one way in church and another way at home. I, people think that I'm a good husband. People think that I'm a good father. People think that I'm a good wife. People think that I'm a good pastor. But Lord God Almighty, you know my heart. And tonight you came into church. And tonight I was brought into church. And people thought that I had a certain need. But you saw my need. You spoke to my need. And you said, son, your sins are forgiven. There's one way. Prin sângele sfânt a Domnului Isus Christos. Dear friends, it's not rocket science. It's a gift from above that God gives faith in his son and in my Lord and could be your Lord, Jesus Christ. He died for your sins. All you have to do is believe that he is the substitute for your sins and say, Lord, come into my sinful life. Cleanse me of my past. Wash me in your blood. Regenerate me and help me to live a life that is pleasing to you. I give you my sin and I take on your holiness. I take on your righteousness. I take on your blessing. And then... You know what Jesus told him after he healed the sick and the paralytics? He said, go and sin no more. He didn't say go to therapy. He didn't say go to see the psychologist. He said, no, what I have done in your life is all powerful, is radical, is changing. Stop hanging out with the wrong crowd. Throw out your cell phones if that's what takes you there. The path of sin, keep it far from you. Come to Jesus Christ because his word tells us, Cine vine la el cu niciun chip nu va fi respins, nu va fi întors la o parte. God's success rate in saving sinners is 100%. There hasn't been one that he hasn't saved that has wanted salvation. When I was 14, he saved me. Uh, and I wasn't a goody-goody two-shoe. <laughs> Anybody else here saved by him? Did I have to plead with him? Trebuia să spun, Doamne, dar uite, fac cu tare, cu tare, cu tare. Did I have to do 101 things? No. All I had to do was come to him and say, yes, I'm a sinner. To confess my sin in front of him and say, Lord, I renounce my sin. Please come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Your spirit has convicted my heart. Your spirit has taken the word of God that it authored and it injected it into my mind, into my heart, into my conscience. And something has happened there. Why I didn't do it, the pastor didn't do it, the preacher didn't do it, the Englishman didn't do it, the American, the Yankee didn't do it. You know who did it? God, the Holy Spirit, through God, the word, did it. <laughs> and uh, the rest is history. The rest is a life lived in the kingdom of God by his grace, by his power, and by his spirit. That's why it says, not by might and not by power, but by my 
spirit, says the Lord. Can we all stand together? If you're here tonight and you've heard the gospel message in Romanian or in English, you're not the only one here. And we're not the only ones here. God has assured us that we're two or three or gathered in his name. He is present in their midst. God is here and he's mighty to save. God is here and he can wash you with his blood. If you will come to him, renounce your sin and say, Lord God, I come to you renouncing my sin, leaving my past, leaving my past life behind me and asking you to come wash me and cleanse me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Tonight can be the night of your salvation. Tonight can be the night of your renewal. If you'll just come to him in faith, you don't need a show. You don't need music. Everything that you need has already been done. For the blood of Christ has been shed for our sins. In this closing prayer, if where you are, seated there, young man, middle-aged man, old man, young lady, middle-aged lady, old lady, if you'll come to him, and say, Lord, come into my life, cleanse, forgive me, and restore to me the joy of your salvation. He and he alone can do it. În rugăciune, așa cum stăm în picioare cu toții, să venim înaintea Domnului cu o rugăciune de pocăință, cu o rugăciune în care cerem prezența Domnului în viața noastră, Mântuirea care El o dă în dar, să audem și noi glasul care trebuie auzit de fiecare din noi. Fiule, păcatele îți sunt iertate. Omul acesta, după ce a auzit aceste cuvinte, restul nu mai prea contat. Da, Doamne, trimite-mă de aici paralizat, nu mai mă interesează. Și Domnul spune, dacă să știți că Fiul omului are putere pe pământ să ierte păcatele, ție-ți spun, slăbă nogule, ridică-ți patul și umblă. That's not the only miracle or the greatest miracle. You know what the greatest miracle is? Son, your sins are forgiven you. I can only call one person, my biological son, <laughs> Sammy. Now, um, it's a big deal. You have three? Um, do you know that when God forgives us our sins, he looks at us and he calls us son? Um, mi-a dat dreptul să ne facem copii a lui Dumnezeu. Don't you want to be called son? Don't you want to be called daughter? If so, tonight, in prayer, where you are, come to him confessing your sins and asking him to forgive you. Amen. Cu toți ne rugăm Domnului.